This is the Acer Chromebook Vero 514, a pretty unique 14 inch clamshell Chromebook that launched at the end of 2022 and now benefits from the Chromebook Plus update. So I think it's become even more appealing as a Chromebook option to consider in 2024. In this video, I'll take you through all you need to know about it, good and bad, and the spec options to watch out for. Thanks to Chili Bob PR for making this loan review unit from AC UK available to me so I can bring you this review after having lived with the Vero 514 as my daily for the last three weeks. Acer's Vero range is all about embracing the spirit of sustainability and in this Vero 514 they've integrated 30% post-consumer recycled plastics into the design. The green approach all starts with the packaging as you can see in this unboxing. The packaging itself is made from recycled materials, so there's no plastics or styrofoam to be seen here, and they've made the packaging multi-purpose. You can build a laptop stand, make a larger box for storage, and even turn it into a planter. As it's a review unit, I probably wouldn't be too popular if I did any of those things, but I like the intention, and it'd be great to see this become more common practice. Handling this Chromebook for the first time, the feel of the textured all-plastic build immediately stands out as different, and it certainly looks unique too with the yellow accents in this cobblestone grey colour. There's also an iron colour mentioned on Acer's UK site but I can't see any photos of how different that looks. The chassis feels really firm in a reassuring way, there's no unwanted flex to it. And weight wise in the hand it's about as expected at just under 1.49 kg, that's about 3.28 pounds. That does make it very ever so slightly heavier than the recent 14 inch Chromebooks I've reviewed, as you may have seen in my recent shorts post here or on TikTok or Instagram. I love the style of the logos on it too, including the design of the touchpad with the post-consumer recycled logo. There's also the R and the E keys on the keyboard in yellow to highlight reduce, reuse, recycle. Covering the main spec of the Chromebook Vero 514 I have here and what to watch out for in the options available to you. This one has a 12th gen Intel Core i7 processor but there's also Core i3 and i5 options and with any of these you'll have Chrome OS updates to the AUE date of June 2032. I have the Intel Iris Xe graphics but there's also the Intel UHD graphics on some models and I've got 8GB of low power DDR4 RAM but there's also models with up to 16GB. And I've also got a 256 gig NVMe SSD for storage, but there's also 128 gig and 512 gig options available. That spec plus the screen and webcam that we'll get into later ticks all of the boxes for the Chromebook Plus update. So this is one of those Chromebooks that you won't find branded on the outside as Chromebook Plus, but has received the software update. That means you get all of the software features associated with Chromebook Plus now and as they're released in the future. Looking around the Chromebook, there's a nice selection of ports. Starting on the left-hand side, there's a USB-C 3.2 port for power data and display out, plus an HDMI 2.0 port and a headphone microphone combo jack. Over on the right-hand side, there's the battery power LED indicator, which I did miss from being on the left of the Chromebook, which is my personal default for charging most of the time. There's a full USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 port, a second USB-C 3.2 port, again for power data and display out and a Kensington Nano security slot. So no card reader slot but you can of course use a hub or a dock and I'll show you how I used mine for my monitors and peripherals later and it does also mean that we've got dual USB-C here as well as an HDMI port, a pretty nice combo and not something seen too often. It's also Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 compatible so nice and up to date there and as usual no issue connecting devices like my PlayStation 4's controller for a bit of gaming. Opening the screen to reveal the keyboard deck and it's a really pleasant keyboard to type on with what I'd say is a deeper travel to the keys. I've got the optional backlit keyboard on this one which is great apart from one slight problem at least on my unit. If the backlit keyboard is on and not at maximum brightness you can hear a bit of a whine from the Chromebook that you can notice in a quiet room. I'll flip it to film it from the rear on what is then the right hand side facing me. Apologies for the up close blurry image as I'll need to be close for the audio here. I have seen one other mention online of someone else experiencing the same behaviour. The plastic touchpad is well constructed and has a nice smooth feel to it. As you'd expect with this one being the Vero Acer brand, the touchpad is ocean glass, meaning it's made from ocean bound plastic. The glass reference is to the feel it has, not the material it's made from. 
Some models will also have the optional fingerprint reader on the keyboard deck below the navigation keys on the bottom right hand side. Moving up to the screen, it's a 14 inch Full HD IPS non touch screen in a matte finish, but there is also a touch option to look out for, and I imagine that one will have more of a gloss finish. This one has a 60Hz refresh rate and 100% coverage of the sRGB colour space, so everything looks decent. The usual catch however is with the brightness. It's claimed up to 300 nits, but to my eyes it looked a little lower. Still fine for indoor use though. As mentioned, it's a clamshell design, so I wouldn't expect it to be convertible, but I'm getting more used to Chromebook screens that will go back 180 degrees so they can lie flat, and this one can't do that. This is as far back as it will go. The webcam is found at the top of the screen and features a manual privacy slider. Due to this one meeting the Chromebook Plus spec, you know it's going to be a full HD camera, and you benefit from the extra lighting and background blur controls. Quality was great as expected. Performance, as you can imagine, is rapid, and to be honest, for most people, the 12th gen Core i7 compared to say the i5 or even the i3 might be overspecking it, but it's nice to have the option. Everyday browsing, Android apps and Linux programs, as well as some games from the Google Play Store all ran great. Aside from one issue that I've experienced on another Chromebook with a 12th gen Core i3 processor, and that was that Real Racing 3 wasn't displaying correctly. To balance out that performance, battery life also seems good. Acer claim up to 10 hours, but as usual that can depend on so many factors such as how hard you're pushing the processor, screen brightness and so on. I was happily getting through around 8 hours of mixed use before feeling the need to charge, and when I did the ability to charge to 50% in half an hour with the supplied 60 watt charger was great. Using the Vero 514 at my desk with my Tobin 1 dock, I could easily run extended displays on my two foot HD monitors and also use the Chromebook screen as a third if I wanted to. The speakers are underneath the Chromebook which is never the ideal spot but they do get fairly loud when on a flat surface like a desk and they would perhaps just benefit from a bit more richness in the sound. Here's a brief example, I'll link the track in the description. You've also got vents for the processor on the bottom of the Chromebook and opening up to the right hand side of the keyboard deck below the screen. In particular with the Intel Core i7 processor I thought fan noise and heat were likely to be an issue, or at least just more noticeable during use, but I'm pleased to say neither really bothered me, and if you're taking it relatively easy the fans are unlikely to kick in. By the way, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you, and hopefully it's been worth giving it a like to help it reach more people. I really appreciate it. So overall, if you're looking for a 14-inch Chromebook Plus model like the Asus CX34, Lenovo Slim 3i, or the Acer 514, you should definitely compare it to this Vero 514. As I've hopefully shown, there's a lot to like about it. It's not just a unique design, it's got the spec credentials to back it up. As always, please do drop any questions in the comments, I try my my best to respond to them all and if you like Chromebook and Chrome OS content why not subscribe to the channel for more like this including this next video I've let the YouTube algorithm recommend to you. Check the pinned comment if you want to follow me on TikTok, Instagram and more too. Cheers!